Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is a very skin-like natural-esque kind of makeup tutorial. First, we're jumping in with some moisturizer. This is the Neutrogena Hydra Boost, and I'm just using this to give my skin a nice hydration and a really nice base before we jump in with any other products. I have been loving this, especially if you have sensitive skin. I think you guys will really enjoy this moisturizer. Recently, I've been really into mixing some kind of moisturizer with a foundation. In this case, I'm using an N, I'm using an SPF. This one's from Neutrogena, and I'm just mixing it with the Nude by Nature foundation. I have the shade Soft Sand, which is a tiny little bit dark for me as I didn't have a lot of fake tan on when I filmed this. So by mixing them, it kind of lightens it a little bit, lessens the pigmentation, and just makes it look a little bit more skin-like on your face, which is really what I'm going for and what I've been loving at the moment. This video is actually in collaboration with Neutrogena and Nude by Nature. I collaborated with them while I was away at Coachella and I just thought this video would be a really great way to show you some of the products that I've been loving ever since in a very natural sort of way. So I feel like any kind of makeup lover can really, you know, add these to your everyday routine. Then jumping in with a little bit of bronzer, I'm taking this Nude by Nature contour palette and I'm just mixing the two bronze and contour shades together and just essentially stippling those all over my cheeks, my forehead, my nose and my chin and then with whatever's left over on my brush, I'm just kind of adding that to the rest of my face because we're just kind of trying to bring a little bit more life back into the skin um, and just like natural skin textures and all that sort of stuff. So we're kind of just adding anything where like the sun would naturally flush our faces and then with the warmer bronze shade from the palette I'm just going in with a fluffy brush and adding this to the eyes so we're doing the lower lash line as well as the crease of the lid and all over the lid itself so I'm kind of just adding like a wash of color because I find a lot of people have like natural tint to their eyelids I am not one of those people and I wish I was um, because I just love like that natural sort of flush that people get around their eyes so yeah, we're just kind of adding a little bit of contour and a little bit of something and then going hard out with the faux freckles i'm just using this nude by nature i have it in my hand right now what is this, this is the contour eye pencil and it's in the shade where's the shade name i can't find the shade name on here for the life of me um so i will figure it out and i'll leave it down below for you guys um but this is perfect for faux freckles because i'm going in pretty ham and then i'm taking my fingers and just patting them away and this way they kind of look a little bit more faded and a little bit more natural. I did want to go for a very freckly sort of effect, but a faded freckle effect, if that makes sense. I know a lot of people don't like faux freckles. They get like annoyed about them, but I personally love them. I wish that I had some little freckles and just tiny little imperfections like this on my skin. I honestly, like that one that I just filled in, that's like one of the only moles that I have. <laughs> and then other little freckles are just really random. Like I just, I don't have a lot and I just think they're really sweet. We're then going to add a little bit more of a flush to the skin using, I just had this blush in my hand and I just read the name and I forgot it already. This is the Cashmere Pressed Blush from Nude by Nature in the shade Desert Rose. And I'm basically just stippling this onto my cheeks as well as my nose, my forehead and my chin. Essentially anywhere that, you know, you kind of get it like a little bit of a redness and a little bit of a flush. It just makes your skin look a little bit more skin-like. Even when I do full glam, I tend to do this with my blush just to add some more color and life back into my skin. We're then finishing off the base with this highlight palette. I'm taking the lightest shade and I'm just adding it to the inner corners of my eyes just for a little bit of a pop and then to the cheekbones and the high points of my face just so we have like a nice amount of glow um, just because I don't like my skin looking too flat. And then going in with a nude lip liner. This one's in the shade Coral, but it actually comes out a lot more nude on my lips than I anticipated. And I'm just lining them, you know, overdrawing them as I always do, even though this is a natural kind of makeup tutorial. I still got to overdraw the lips. And then I'm going to finish them off with this Coral Blush lip gloss as well. So these kind of, these two shades sort of go together and I'm just honestly obsessed with this gloss. It's really, really pretty. It looks so nice and it smells absolutely amazing and i think it just looks really natural on the lips like it's not too much color it's just 
you know, a nice little natural flush. Then finishing everything off with some mascara and some brow mascara. First, we're doing the brows. I'm obsessed with this brow mascara right now, you guys. I use it every single day, even when I'm not wearing makeup. You guys can see it just adds so many hairs to my non-existent brows. I, I literally love it. I honestly don't know what to tell you guys. It just makes them so thick and it adds just a little bit of pigment and I feel like it just gives me brows where I don't really have any. And then I'm just using the Nude by Nature um, brown mascara, which I've actually really, really been liking. I was like stabbing myself all over my eyes with this. Um, but yeah, I really like this mascara. It's not too harsh because it's nice and brown and it makes your lashes super long. But that's basically it for this tutorial. So hopefully you guys really enjoyed this one. It's been like my go-to look recently. Um, and if you did, give it a thumbs up. I just got a message. <laughs> um, but I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.